Hi guys, this is Jules. Welcome to my introduction to the my clothespin kits that I am bringing out again. I've had requests for them. I thought that they were going to die out, but I've had some people ask me, um, like on Facebook and stuff and on YouTube, like when I was going to bring them back. I was told that the link on my blog doesn't work, but I purposely unlinked it because the kit that I had before was no longer um, no longer available. So within the last several, several months, I've put together four different designs of my Graphic 45 Vintage Clothespin Kits and wanted to share with, show them again with you since I have them all put together again. <laughs> so I have four different styles, like I said. I decided to um, start with the original uh, clothespin that I that I made back last year in April. I think it was April. April 2010, I made this clothespin and I had no primas. I had some, uh, some I thought that were generic blings, but it was actually the ZVA's um, brand of, of bling. And I didn't see anybody use them, but when I saw them at a scrapbook store, I was like, oh, these are, these are nice. I can use these. So I, um, yeah. And I, yeah, never had any prima flowers. Didn't ha I handmade all of my stuff. It was just kind of funny to look back on it. Actually, I was just looking at it right now. Uh, to see what else I have in on the clothespin that I can still put in here, but I actually have more stuff in the kit now than I did back then. So let me share with you what I have. Um, so this one here is called Lady of the House. That's the name of this particular kit. And as I was saying, I'm using the original papers from Graphic 45 that I did back then. And so you will get, instead of the just one half of a 12 by six sheet um, you'll get the whole sheet but they'll be cut in half it'll just it's just easier for shipping you're going to have to cut it anyways when you put it on your clothes pin so um, I decided to just include them because there's a lot of images in here that you can use so I have um, this is one of the on one side of the clothes pin that I did back then um, I use the legs here and on the other side um, I use this late beautiful lady here and then I use this one here on the bottom of the other side. So, um, I don't know. I really liked it. And looking at it, I love the back too. So I think that if I was to do this again, I would probably use the back for the inside of the clothespin. So, um, yeah, just to give that, just the vintage style of the, the browns and stuff in there. So you'll get the full sheet. Some other kits will have more paper. Some will just have these, like, you know, just the one solid uh, piece cut in half. So... I guess it's not solid, is it? <laughs> so um, you'll get that. You'll get the clothespin that is, I believe it's pine wood. These will come disassembled. Um, so just understand that it's easier for shipping. I have remember in the past sending them out whole um, kind of made it was a little bit difficult. Um, I do try and protect everything, the contents of everything that I package and send off. So just know that it'll be wrapped up in bubble wrap or in like, I did wrap the bottoms with Walmart um, plastic bags just to kind of protect the corners and so that it doesn't tear through the, the envelope. So this will come disassembled in your kits. All of them will come disassembled. Okay. So you'll get that. Um, I used hymnal paper in my clothespin that I did a long time ago. Um, I am going to include two vintage uh, French novel looks like an old journal book. I don't know. I buy this, um, I buy vintage papers from a friend of mine. Um, so you'll get two of these. So you can use them however you want. This, um, this is a Sizzix die cut of a small envelope. And I just wanted to incorporate this one, um, for a photo or a little journaling spot or a little memorabilia or something like that, if you wanted to. Um, so I'm gonna, I added the die cut of that. There's also a full size doily. And this might have two pieces. I've had a hard time trying to separate them. Um, so some kids might have two just because I think that there's one, but whatever. So you'll have a full size of a, of a doily and that's what's vintage. What's more vintage than a doily, right? Um, what else? Then um, the bling packets that come in the kits will all vary. Um, I just grabbed all the ones that I had in my stash. And um, so this particular kit, you'll get either this package of bling or this package of bling or this package of bling or this one or this one. Okay. So um, 
um, regretfully you can't, I'm not going to be able to have like you tell me which one you want. Whatever comes in the kit is what you'll get. It's just going to be hard for me to get personal and stuff with every single kit. Like I just want this one or just this or just that. It's just going to be too hard with the amount of kits that I've put together. So I have them all packaged all in one bag. Uh, so they're all together. So you'll get one of those. And so that's one of the things that will vary. Another thing that will vary is something here in the, in the charms that I'll share with you in a little bit. But let me share the trims that come with it. Oopsies. Okay. A lot of trims here for bows and um, you can trellis them up the side of the clothespin if you want to. Um, so this one is one of the, this one was uh, the lace that came in the second kit that I had. And I still have some, and I love the ruffle look. I did a steampunk debutante one for a friend of mine, Miss MJ, Mary Jane. Hi, MJ. <laughs> and I use this one, and I just love the ruffle look up the up along the side of the clothespin. It just, ugh, it's so, it just screams sexy to me. Ruffle black lace is just stinking sexy to me. So you'll get about a foot of pretty much almost every trim will be about a foot long. Um, and I give and take like an inch or two sometimes actually more like give I try not to cut them too short so you'll get that you get some vintage uh, seam binding the wrinkled ribbon from Patsy's um, store and these are um, about a foot long and so is that one we get a couple strands of pearls you can use however you want I did incorporate pearls in my my clothespin and so you'll get black and you'll get white you can choose from that and then there's a vintage crocheted style of um, trim. So there's that. That's some, that one's about 15 inches, 14, 15 inches. And then I got a gift from someone a long time ago and got a huge bundle of this beautiful trim. Um, this little flowers with little beads in the center and the beads up along the border. Um, You'll get a little over a foot of this in this kit. And I just wanted to say thank you to that person that gave it to me. I just love it. I just can't use it all. And I still have like another two yards um, in my tray. So yeah, I'm sharing it for this kit. So that's just gorgeous. I like that. Um, I In my steampunk clothespin that I made for MJ, I did use a photo corner for um, both sides of the clothespin. And I just used it. On the, it just looks really cool. I just love it. So some of the kits will have this, some of them won't, um, but this particular kit will have one. So this will vary in the style of metal. You can have either the antique silver, antique bronze, or antique gold. So um, I just love the way that it looked in on that one. And the other charms that you'll get are the Roman goddess. I believe it's a Roman goddess. Love her. Loved using her in um, my clothespin, my first one. Just so pretty. You get the crown, of course. You gotta have a queen's crown. You'll get this vintage inspired button. Oh, did I get it stuck in there? I thought I felt it was going in there. Okay. So this is a floral ribbon design on this metal button. And you'll get one of Tim Holtz little hangers. Um, I just love the look of it being a hanger. And I don't know. I just wanted to put it in the kicks. It's just cute. Um, you'll get a memo pin. And again, this will vary in metals. So you can actually use this for like the little envelope if you want to have a picture in it or whatever else and stick this out of like a bundle of flowers. And you'll get some uh, flat back pearls with it, some white ones, and a butterfly that I have had in my stash. So some of these things will be in um, some of the other kits too. I don't know if I'm using a butterfly in the other ones or not. Anyways, but those are coming in the next few videos. You'll be able to see if they're in there or not. Um, so I can't remember. I don't know how many times I've done this video too. Um, just been busy <laughs> and forgetting to mention stuff. So um, I'm going to add some loose flowers because I did have some of my original clothespin that I made, um, the Graphic 45 one. So I did several layers and I did the little twisty effect. And, um, you know, you can spray these down and color them and wrinkle them up and then fluff them back out, heat set them, and they'll have a fluffier look to them. But I'm adding two of the large, like, Bermuda Breeze style. Um, I believe this is from the Bermuda Breeze pack, the E-Line. I still have some of those, so you get two of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones. You can also layer some of the full-size flowers like these um, on top of that. So, 
and then you'll get some hydrangeas. You'll get two of the large, two of the small. That was in the original kit as well. You get um, one of the stamps that has the uh, graphic 45 image of the roses. It says Scott's Roses or something on it. And a couple of fabric leaves, little small leaves. And these are some Prima Roses that I've had in my stash, and I wanted to share them in these kits. I just had so many of them, so I was able to share them. So you'll get six of the little rosettes. These are uh, from Wild Orchid Crafts, the little uh, closed rosebuds. And um, these, the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers that I have here, now I need you guys to understand that Wild Orchid Crafts is not sponsoring these kits at all. These are not from my design team kits that they send me um, every month. Um, these are flowers that I have per that I've had in my stash for a while that I purchased a while back and that I have been purchasing over the last couple of months specifically for my kits. So um, just in case people are wondering if I'm reselling what they've been giving me, I am not doing that. Um, that would be completely unethical and no, I'm not doing that. I am purchasing my flowers for my kits and um, Paul knows that. And here's some of Wilder Crafts flowers that I have. Some wild curly roses here, some of my favorite ones. Some, um, a gardenia that is two-tone pink, pink and champagne. Um, these are some that I had in my stash, these two down here. Um, and all of the kits will come with the exact same flowers, okay? And I just love clustering them down at the bottom with little roses and trellising them up. I love doing that. It's just, just a nice effect. And um, I'm going to add in some pearls like I had in the original clothespin kit with some jump rings since there's a couple charms there you can use it to hang it or you don't have to use it use it for something else but there is way more than enough supplies here to create um, and design your clothespin however you like what I decided to add for this um, one too is a um, piece of chipboard this is four and a half by five and a half and this is so that you can cover with leftover paper if you want to for a photo mat so you can have one for both sides and it works and be like if you want to hold you hold it with the clothespin you can also use it um, in your kitchen if you want to use it for um, like recipes or whatever else or just have it in this in, or in the laundry room however if you have a decorative area you can have it there with some photos since it's a clothespin it's just it just gives a cute touch so I am gonna add some chipboard in there for you guys um, in there and I did cut this off but you guys are getting this anyways because I like to use the words and the titles here for um, I think on the, the my original one I did make a little booklet and I used I like this as miniature pieces for like titles of, of stuff so also can use that the graphic 45 um, and where it says domestic goddess you can use that so that's going to be in the kit and um, yeah that's it for that one so stay tuned because the next uh, three videos will be the other kits um, all the information, the links to the sale is below and all of the kits will be on one post on my blog. Uh, please remember that shipping is separate. Um, these will most likely be able to be uh, be sent out in flat rate envelopes, uh, which is a $4.95. Um, those are $4.95 to ship out and using those envelopes. So I think that I can totally fit this in there, not a problem. If there's additional stuff, I might have to um, use a different packaging, but um, you'll be invoiced for the shipping for whatever it is that you order. Um, so just note that if you if you not if you're not used to or familiar with my blog and how I do stuff. So I have um, important information at the end of every sale post on my blog. So please read that as well as the shop policy on the right side of my blog. Okay. So all right, you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next three videos. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Jill sending out of the toolbox. Bye guys.